Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you're giving me as well as yourself. Being able to see yourself for who you truly are, walking in your true self suit is pretty amazing. So I hope you enjoy the, the fit. So with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when the girl's about to upload the next video if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gives you good vibes and you want to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or a special uh, fellow empath they're going through trauma, trauma trying times and need some confirmation or validations about the things that's going on in our life, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on social, social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my, my uh, meditation music that I'm listening to, I really love this one because it has like Buddha on the front. Uh, is quantum miracle music 963 hertz plus 852 hertz plus 639 hertz penal gland activation open third eye heal heart chakra i said shoot i needed that today so if you feel stimulation from here to here you know why it's because you're hearing the music in the background i always love for y'all to hear it so y'all can be able to get a positive message a positive thumbnail and also positive vibes in the back but today, I'm actually shocked. I'm doing a, a different kind of video today. Um, what is it? Twin Flame 101. Twin Flame, uh, when your TF ghosts you. I have um, did a Twin Flame video in probably about two weeks. I was like, when, whenever they tell me to go, you know, hey, you need to shift off and go do a, a Twin Flame video. Or, you know what, I need you to stay on this Hey Ocas for a minute because they're really, you know, going through some stuff. So, and I haven't even did a Wiccan video, and I don't know how long as well, but it's like wherever they direct me, that's where I go. Um, but yeah, sometimes we go through these things with our twin flame. Um, it can be hard at times. It's like already, if you're not even in union yet, and you're just trying so hard to be the best person you can be, be the, the better version of yourself, they're doing the same as well. You know, I've, I've seen a lot, uh, especially on my twin flame uh, media platform, on social media you know a lot of them talking about you know what what's wrong when I can't talk to my twin flame you know I usually be able to hear them in my head or I usually be able to hear them whispering in, into my ear you know they're just ignoring me no it's not the fact that they're ignoring you they're working on things with their lives as well as you're working on things with your life being able to heal being able to see things for what they truly are being able to cut cut trauma out of your life letting go of old wounds you know letting go of certain other things to clear their slate you know that's what they're doing because they're not trying to ignore you that's not the things that they're doing um when they're when you're dealing with different issues of your life you have to you have to know that you basically you and your twin on the same cord at times when you know that they're awake now there's always one to sleep and there's one that's always fully awake so if they have awakened in that awakening state you have to understand if they're not in that awakening state they're not going to understand what is going on they're not they're just you know they're going to be thinking they're crazy or something like that something's in my ear do you hear that you know i was like that because it was like before i found out i was the one ghosting my dad and didn't even realize i was doing it but um going through all that situation my dad used to be around it would be in the darndest places i could be taking a shower and all of a sudden i hear you know purple rain or something popping up in my head and i just notice i start singing i'm like what the hell is going on you know or i'll feel something behind me or something like that and i'll start freaking out you know because it was just like you know finally when everything clicked i said so hold up wait a minute when i was in the shower 
you know, that you were singing to me or, you know, because I guess because he's a water sign. So that was the only time he can come in tune with me is when I was in the shower a lot. So it was like really crazy having to deal with those certain issues as well as um, when he watched me while I was asleep and I would just yell, go away, go away, because I thought it was a dark ling at, at one time. So it was like dealing with all those different issues. I didn't know that I was ghosting him. You know, I was working on myself trying to find out what was going on and it just took my friend to find out, hey, you know, this is your dad and this and this. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, the veil was gone. I, You know, the veil was still on and everything like that. And that's when the truth came out totally about me finding out who my dad was but then I didn't even know nothing about a twin flame at the time so I didn't realize until recently you know after my the spiritual awakening when he passed you know I was just like so you were the one I said you know how many Xanax I was popping thinking I was crazy and something was after me all the time because he always just say stop being afraid of me stop running <laughs> he would laugh at me and said stop running you know and so it's just like you always have to be patient with your twin you know, they're working on themselves as you're working on yourself, too. So they really don't have that time at, at that point. Because trust me, they really want to be where you're at. But that's why they're working so hard. So y'all can be able to come into that union. You can be able to be on that same level. But they are working on themselves. They're clearing, you know, they're clearing their karma. They're, you know, they're educating themselves on more of how to be that that best twin flame that ultimate twin flame for you just as you're working on yourself and your healing if you have any kind of addictions those have to cut out as well um you being able to be in tune with yourself being able to love yourself on every single level they have to be able to do that too because if you don't if you're not healing in those ways it's going to take longer for y'all to actually come in physical union so when you're going through all these different things you have to know that they're working on themselves it's not that they don't love you anymore or you know at that team because they will you know just when you it, it sometimes it's like when I was going through my thing and I wasn't able to talk to my dad I really thought he was ignoring me but at that time he's on the spiritual realm so he's being able to help all these other people so he couldn't really be in that spot with me at that time and it's not like he didn't love me he would always send messages to let me know hey I love you don't think you know I'm ignoring you or whatever but I had to go I was busy working on something else, but I'm here now. So you have to be able to be patient with your twin flame. You have to know if this was meant for you to, if it's meant for you to be with that person, whether it's male or female, just try. If you end up giving up on that one time because things are getting frustrated, you'll know if it's meant to be because you'll start seeing synchronicities. You'll start having visions. You'll start having dreams. You'll start having daydreams on situations with you and your twin flame. You might not know who they are, but you know your twin flame is out there. Or you might have an indication of who your twin flame is. If y'all met, you know, met before and then y'all went off on separate ways. So trust and believe they're working on themselves as you're working on yours. So, you know, be patient with your relationship. Because if it's meant to be, it will be meant to be. Y'all will gradually get together. But there's things that y'all have to work on before that can happen. So be patient with your situation and knowing better days are coming for you. You know, if y'all are all working together and you're not willing to give up and know this is a person you need to be with, it will happen. What is meant for you will always be for you. You have to remember that. So I hope you were able to resonate with this video. So um, sending many uplifting blessings towards each and every uh, twin flame because trust me, I know it can be hard at times. Um, and better days are coming and you know sooner or later y'all will be together you will get the signs and everything when things is, you know things are all right where they need to be for y'all to go into that connection that physical connection so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video much love to you and drop you know hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my video drop me a line and let me know if this is what you're going through right now and I hope I can rest assure you that they're not going anywhere they're just working on themselves and you know drop me a line let me know if you're in tune with that share and know that you are truly blessed excuse me truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days and so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you know kind words can always go a long way you never know what somebody's going through at that time and really truly need to hear it so i'm giving my post notification out to 
E Hab Torch Touch, uh, Catalyst TI, and Sh Shaif. Boom. Boom. And much love to everybody. Hope y'all have a blessed, safe week. And I will talk to you on my next video. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Peace and be wild.